Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and today I'm bringing you an RU match against an opponent by the name of the Water Warrior. Now this match was really interesting, in my opinion, it had a pretty cool ending because I like to be stupid sometimes, and you'll see what I mean by that in a second, or later I guess. But um, this is this team that I have here, like that is on my side, is pretty much just Pokemon I wanted to use. Nothing really too serious about it, I just wanted to throw a bunch of guys that I really like together and see how they did. Um, and my opponent is using a pretty kind of standard um, RU team. Most of the pokes that it has, or that he has, I've seen the majority of the time, so I do know how to deal with a lot of them pretty well. Um, Slowking and Clefable are kind of a big problem together because they are really good teammates, in my opinion. Um, uh, Slowking obviously getting the, abil the ability Regenerator to allow it to restore its HP every time it switches out makes it very hard to take down. Um, but I know I won't have to worry about the Porygon Z because I have Dusk Noir, and even if it wants to throw off a super effective Dark type or, or Dark Pulse or Shadow Ball on me, I can still take two of them without dying, which is really cool, and that's why I love my Dusk Noir. Um, but I'm not really sure what the Sneasel wants to do. I know it's fast, and it probably has like priority Ice Shards, but I don't really see them too often in RU, so I'm kind of just assuming the same kind of things that a Weavile wants to do, just less powerful. Um, and I know that I can deal with the Lilligant really well because I have Primeape with Vital Spirit to be immune with the, uh, uh, to the Sleep Powder, and also U-Turn on it to threaten it out and Ice Punch as well. So I won't have to worry about that. Glade, still not sure. It's probably a Fighting type, so or probably going to be wanting to use Fighting type moves, so I can probably deal with that with Dust Noir as well. But let's just get right into it. I do lead off with Primeape because I realize that nothing on his team really wants to go one-on-one um, -on -one against it. Because I do have U-Turn, Ice Punch, Close Combat, and Stone Edge, pretty standard. It's also Scarfed. But right off the bat, I go for Ice Punch because I wanted to not use U-Turn because I feel like figured that was really predictable. And I was like, hey, maybe I can take it out one shot right at the beginning. But I don't, and he switches out into his Clefable and goes for Cosmic Power, which now gets me really worried because those things are like impossible to take down once they start doing that. So I switch out into Honchkrow as he soft boils, and I go for Sub right here. Because usually with Cosmic Power, they have Stored Power as their attack move or like Seismic Toss or something. But my uh, Honchkrow has max HP, so it has 401 subs, meaning that his Seismic Toss, which you see right there, fails to break it. So we could technically just stall each other out for the entirety of the rest of the game if we really wanted to. But um, he stays in and just breaks my sub, where I get a crit on the Night Slash, which helps me out so much. And I was kind of debating for a while whether to go with Night Slash or Drill Peck, and I figured Night Slash had higher crit chance, and luckily I got that. So that helped me take out the Clefable, which I figured was going to be a huge threat right away. So now he brings in a Sneasel, and I definitely don't want to stay in, so I go out to Gigalith because um, my Gigalith is super physically defensive. Um, and I actually don't take that as well as I would have liked to. Um, so I'm thinking this might actually be a Banded Sneasel. Um, but I do go for Rock Blast because I figure if it wants to stay in, it's definitely going to die. If it had Brick Break, it wouldn't have killed, so I didn't worry about that too much. But now that he brings in the Slow King, I switch out into my Lantern to take whatever he wants to do. My Lantern also has quite a bit of special defense, and I can thread it out with a Discharge or Toxic or something like that. Um, I end up going for the Toxic, though, which is really good and proves to be really important later on this little again because it helps me take it out. Um, but now I definitely do not want to stand against this thing, so I switch out to Primate, predicting the Sleep Powder. He misses the Sleep Powder, it didn't matter anyways because of Vital Spirit, as I said. And I just go for U-Turn right here to figure out how to deal with the Slow King. Um, so I do that, and I go out into my Ludicolo, because I figured I have a really good advantage in this situation. And rather than go for the obvious Giga Drain, I actually choose to set up Rain Dance right here. Um, it wasn't like I was predicting too much, I just figured if I can get a speed boost, it would help me outspeed a lot of things, and as you see right here, it helps me KO this Porygon Z in one hit, which was probably Scarfed, but because of my ability to Swift Swim and the rain being up, I was able to do a lot of damage and take it out before it could hurt me. Now here, this Gallade has a ridiculous amount of special defense, and can take my Life Orb boosted Surfs in the rain like a monster, and I was not expecting that at all. And I just kind of leave my Ludicolo in here to die, which later turns out to be not the smartest move I probably could have made. But um, it brings his Gallade pretty low, and I can just bring in my Honchkrow to finish it off with a Brave Bird. I'm sorry, Drill Peck. Um, and now I get the Moxie Boost, which is awesome. But again, he brings in this um, Sneasel. And here I made a really stupid uh, play, and I was just like, maybe I could live in Ice Punch. Who knows? So I just leave it in, and I die. Really stupid on my part, but I kind of just like to see things if 
or see how things would turn out sometimes. But now that I realize that it's probably banded, there was no way in hell I would have lived that, plus he got a crit. But he switches out, and I go for a stealth rock, because I realize, realize I hadn't done that yet, so I just go for that. And then I switch out right away, because he's probably going to surf me or something. But he actually goes for a trick room. But my Dust Noir is, as I said before, very specially defensive. However, he goes for a nasty plot here, as I go for pain split, predicting like a surf or something like that, just to get my health back. And then he goes for another nasty plot. So now he's at plus four, and I'm in a really, really bad spot right now. Because this thing, as you see, with plus four, is going to demolish my Dust Noir. So basically, I just lost him, who is, you know, one of my primary special walls on this team. But I bring in my Galath, because I do have Protect on it, to stall out that last turn of Trick Room. Um, and that helps me out a lot, because on the following turn, I'm able to outspeed the Slow King, and fortunately enough, get all five hits of Rock Blast, which bring this thing down very, very low. Um, and it's to the point where I know that even though I'm going to die on this turn, which I do from the Surf, even though he could have went for Trick Room, I think he should have went for Trick Room again, um, I'm able to bring my Prime up, and I'm easily able to U-turn out against this thing and kill it. Which I know isn't the smartest idea, but I didn't have anything else on my team to kill it. And it brings in my Lantern, which allows him to see this beforehand because he does get switch advantage because I killed something with U-turn. So I immediately go out to Prime Ape again. He goes for Giga Drain, which is a very nice move on his part because if he went for Sleep Powder or Quiver Dance, it wouldn't have mattered. Um, and this Giga Drain actually takes more into play than I actually initially thought because he actually lives my close combat with 2 HP which sucks, which I know now for the future because I cannot KO a Lilligant with one close combat for Primate. But he actually dies this turn from Poison and Life Orb re Recoil, which is great for me. So now it's basically down to me um, with my Lantern and him with the Sneasel. And now I didn't know if I could live two hits from this thing, so I go for Confuse Ray. And this is where it kind of gets really funny because I actually can live two hits from this thing, and as you can see from the next turn, my Scald would have actually easily been a two-hit KO. So I basically just made things 5,000 times harder on myself and basically leave it down to this last turn where if he gets confused and hits himself, he uh, loses, and if he doesn't, I lose. But luckily for me, he hits himself in confusion, and I'm able to finish him off for the game. So I kind of played really risky in this game, but that's kind of how I like to do it sometimes, to you know just kind of make things a little bit more exciting rather than... Um, you know, just like throwing stuff out there and playing really smart. I don't know. I just kind of like to screw around sometimes. But it's actually been very, very hard for me to find a really good RU match because um, a lot of the time in the higher tiers, it ends up being very like setup based. So if you basically have the chance to set up with a Pokemon, you can sweep an entire team because the Pokemon are more powerful. Um, and often I'm getting a lot of Honchkrow sweeps because of its Moxie boost and because of its awesome, you know, dark and flying stab together, as well as having Sucker Punch to take out things faster than me. So I apologize, I would have had a video sooner, but it's been very, very hard for me to get like a really good battle, kind of like this one, or one where I'm, I just think is kind of hilarious, so I wanted to put up for you guys. But that is pretty much just it for this one. I'll probably just keep using this team. Um, I don't plan on doing like an analysis of it just because it's just a bunch of guys I wanted to throw together. It's nothing too fancy like my other one was, at least in my opinion. It's just a bunch of guys that I really wanted to use and put them together. And I think they work pretty well, as I've been seeing. So that's it for this video. Um, and as always, take care and goodbye.